Hey guys, this is Dr. Ron, your master vet. For today's topic, pag-uusapan natin ang tinatawag na infectious canine hepatitis or blue eye in dog. Without further ado, let's start the discussion for today. What is infectious canine hepatitis? Infectious canine hepatitis are seen worldwide in contagious disease of dogs. Ito ay nakakahawang sakit sa aso with signs that vary from slight fever, may konting lagnat yung dog, and congestion of mucous membrane to severe depression, marked leukopenia kung saan napakababa ng white blood cells, and coagulation disorder kung saan yung platelet count ng dugo, ito ay napakababa. Alam natin, yung main function ng platelet is for blood clotting. So, nakakaroon ng hemorrhage. Pag-usapan natin yung etiology and pathogenesis ng infectious canine hepatitis. Saan ba ito nang galing? At paano ito nakaka-apekto sa katawan ng aso? Infectious canine hepatitis is caused by canine adenovirus 1 or CAV1. It is a non-enveloped DNA virus which is antigenically related sa isa pang uri ng virus tinatawag nating canine adenovirus 2 or CAV2 na nagkocos naman ng infectious tracheobronchitis in dog na tinatawag nating kennel cough. The main route of infection ng infectious canine hepatitis, number one, through ingestion of urine and feces. So, yung dog, nakain niya yung ihi, yung poop na mayroong virus, mahahawa siya, or saliva of infected dog. Recovered dogs, nagsashed pa din siya ng virus for approximately 6 months. Kaya napaka-importante na yung dog na nakasurvive ng sakit na ito, ikukulong siya more than 6 months para hindi siya makapanghawa. Initial signs of infection occurs sa tonsillar creeps na matatagpuan sa tonsil and pear patches na matatagpuan sa small intestine, particularly yung ilium ng small intestine. Itong pear patches na ito, these are small mass of lymphatic tissue na nakapaligid dun sa ilium ng small intestine. Yung virus, magkakos ito ng viremia. When you say viremia, these are presence of viruses. Sa blood ng aso, magkakos ito ng disseminated infection kung saan kakalat yung infection sa katawan ng aso, affected yung baga, yung kidneys, yung spleen, at yung liver. Nagkakos ito ng chronic kidney disease or CKD and corneal clouding na tinatawag nating blue eye. So, nakikita natin yung mata nung dog. Ito ay puti, color blue siya. And these are result from immune complex reaction of recovered dogs from acute or subclinical disease or infectious canine hepatitis. Kaya yung dog, once makarecover ng gantong uri ng sakit, makikita mo yung mata niya may cloudiness at yung kulay ay color blue. Pag-usapan natin yung clinical findings ng infectious canine hepatitis. Signs may vary from slight fever to death at yung mortality rate ranges from 10 to 20%. So napakababa lang ng chance na yung dog ay mamatay and very common sa mga young dogs or puppy. Yung incubation period is 4 to 9 days. Ito yung time kung saan nakuha ng tuta yung virus hanggang sa makakitaan siya ng iba't ibang simptomas ng infectious canine hepatitis. Yung first sign, yung tuta nagkakaroon ng lagnat, umaabot ng 40 degrees Celsius at tumatagal ng 1 to 6 days. Mawawala, then magkakaroon ulit siya ng lagnat tinatawag nating biphasic fever. Ano yung mga signs na nakikita natin? Number one, nagkakaroon ng apathy kung saan yung dog nawawalan ng interest 
Number two, nagkakaroon ng anorexia kung saan yung dog, ito ay nangangayayat. Nagkakaroon din ng thirst. Yung dog, uhawin. Nagkakaroon din ng conjunctivitis. Yung mata, ito ay namamaga. Nagkakaroon ng serous nasal and ocular discharge. So may nakikita tayong discharge na lumalabas doon sa mata at ilong ng tuta. Transparent yung color. Nagkakaroon din ng abdominal pain. Pero very occasional ito na sumasakit yung tiyan ng dog. Nagkakaroon ng vomiting. Suka ng suka yung dog. Nagkakaroon ng intense hyperemia and PTK of the oral mucosa kung saan yung oral cavity, yung bibig ng aso, ito ay mapula at may nakikita tayong mga spot na kulay red. Yung tonsils, ito ay namamaga. Nagkakaroon din ng subcutaneous edema kung saan namamaga yung mukha, yung leeg at yung trunk ng aso. Nagkakaroon din ng hemorrhage kung saan yung clotting time affected ito. Makikita natin, nagkakaroon ng bleeding around dun sa deciduous teeth or milk teeth ng tuta. At may makikita ta yung hematoma or namumuong dugo doon sa paligid ng hipin ng aso. So nagkakaroon din ng convulsion kung saan ito ay nakikita sa mga severely infected dog ng infectious canine hepatitis. How to diagnose infectious canine hepatitis? Paano naman malalaman ng isang tuta or aso ay mayroong ganitong uri ng sakit? Number one is virus isolation. Number two is immunofluorescence kung saan kukuhanan ng liver sample yung dog under microscope. Titingnan yung presence of intranuclear inclusion bodies. And the last one is PCR or polymerase chain reaction. How to treat infectious canine hepatitis? Paano naman ito ginagamot? The treatment is symptomatic and supportive. Kung ano lang yung nakikita ng symptoms na ipinakikita ng aso, yun lang yung gagamotin. Number one, bibigyan ng antibiotic to prevent bacterial infection. Bibigyan yung dog ng broad spectrum antibiotic. Number two, lalagyan ng IV fluid to support fluid balance. Number three, kung may pagdurugo sa katawan ng dog, bibigyan ng antihemorrhagic to control yung hemorrhage at kung yung dog is severely ill lalagyan or bibigyan ng plasma or whole blood transfusion magsasalin ng dugo may tinatawag ta yung transient corneal opacity na nangyayari after vaccination pakabigay ng bakuna dun sa tuta after ng ilang days nakikita na yung mata ito ay may clouding so ito ay namumuti It's normal. So, walang ibibigay na treatment kung sa itong mawawala. Yung mga dogs na nagkaroon ng or naka-recovered from infectious canine hepatitis, nagkakaroon ng corneal clouding. And itong mga aso na ito should be protected against bright light para maiwasan na masira yung mata nila at bawal bigyan ng systemic corticosteroid para hindi matuluyan na magkaroon or mabulag yung mata ng aso. That's it for today. I hope may natutunan kayo about my topic about infectious canine hepatitis. See you on my next discussion. This is Dr. Ronjor Mastervet signing off. Good day and God bless all. Bye!